Hello, my name is Eduardo, and today I am here with you just to uh, with a very simple tutorial. Basically, we are going to talk about a little bit about the lists, okay? How to work with lists. Well, the first idea with lists, okay? Basically, the idea uh, about the list is to create a list, okay? So here you can drag a variable, for example, I did it, and then you call this is a list of names, names list, okay? And then you can set it to here make a list and then you add the items for example i add here these um names okay for example one uh control cd and this is rosita and maybe this is the last one that is coral okay i have these three names so i make a list there is another way to make this list so for example if you go here uh, to list and then you go to list from csv row test so to do that we're going to go here just let me move these things because we're going to use them so we are going to create again another list and we're going to call it names list two so this is list number two and then we are going to drag this block that i show you the list from csv row text and then we are going to add our list but using commas for example in this one we are going to add uh rick the rel is it with y i don't know and maybe the last one is Abraham that's it we have another list a list with three items another list with three items just using this form okay so quite the same it is quite the same okay so is in this case the list is going to be like uh, uh, longer okay talking about uh, the width okay or in this case if you want to handle lead like this well that's okay yes well now, if you have a list, another thing that you can do it is to add items to the list. For example, you add here with this block. You can add, uh, for example, to the name list. Oh, you know what? I want to add something extra to my list. I will show you how. Well, this. For example, you go here to the list names list. That is this one. And if we do it, because we have the companion, we have Juan, Rosita, and Carl. But now we want to add something extra. So to the list global names list, we want to add two more names. And these names are duplicate. And we're going to call Simon and Mark. Then we just run this inside a button or a block or a, when we initialize the screen anything to trigger this or using this do it just because we are with using companion to test if we check the list again we have the three items okay so basically that is the idea to how to add this um, to the list so well that is just something very fast and now let's talk about how to handle the list for example if we have um this list now the list called questions let's see that i want to select question number three or question number one so basically the idea is go here to the box and then you are going to select list item now i want to set my text in here my text in my label text to you know what the questions list and check the question that is in the index number three uh, we run the procedure we have in a button i don't know which button i guess is this one yes it's number three who invented the microwave oven so if we do it with number one we have question number one who invented the team foil phonograph 
okay so well basically that is the idea but now what if we want to go over the list okay so start one two three four five and when we get to five start again with question number one okay well basically the idea here is we are going to create first a condition here using an if and we're going to create a variable this variable is going to help us to handle this and we're going to call it index and we're going to set it to zero or to one it's okay but zero it's okay so now we're going to check if we are in the current index if our index is less if the index is less than we have five but what if we add more items to the list well we can just say that if is we're going to use this block just to make something more um, automatic okay so now the length the length of the list we are going to check the list how long is the list and if this number is less than that okay so we are going to continue so we are going to increase this uh, global index we are going to increase the global index plus one and now check global index plus one okay and then we are going to set the label text to this list and the index it will be this one that we will be like modifying okay so well that is the idea so so let's check the procedure so we are here and then we go to we better the basketball question number two we better the microwave we invented the motorcycle now what is happening that is where we, we are increasing this global index if we check it now we are in number four three four okay and then we go here we invented the iphone now we are in number five so now we cannot go more over this because if not we are going to go to six and we don't have any uh, six item okay so let's see what happens when we click again we have nothing 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 okay so we cannot go more because we have uh, this and we check we do it and we are in five so the procedure is not working because the condition is just in case that is less than uh, the length the length of the list okay so what if we want to go to number one again well we need to add a, an else condition else so that if this thing goes more okay so we have to reset the index so set the index to zero let's see what happens and now and again it goes to number one two three four five and then it starts like zero that is in zero there's nothing one two three four five we can set it to number one to see what happens now one two three four five iphone we go to iphone and then we need to go to the other one and that's it basketball it's going to uh, okay so there is a mistake over there because we are going to zero so it's not having this thing at the time to pass to the other one so now to fix this we are going to duplicate this one sorry my mouse duplicate and then we set it in here okay so well obviously we cannot set it to number one uh, well so you set it to global index to zero oh let me check it and then when it's in zero No, let's set it to number one but we're going to set it there so that's it we invented well let's just let's look again foil three 
or motorcycle hyphen and uh, that's okay yes two three four five and that's the way we uh, can cycle over a list okay so check so in what if you I add another uh, item to my list one two items more to my list so let's move these things okay so if I add two more items to my list so let's see who invented App Inventor and uh, who who invented um, toilets the toilets. So now we have this list. We need to refresh the screen. We set it to this. And we don't have anything, we just run the procedure here in this button. So let me rename this. Sorry, because I was using for other thing. Uh, test. And then we go and we click text. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we go again to the start of the list okay so that it's that's important that that's why we add this length of the list okay the length length of the list okay because if my if I say oh, okay my list is just with six items when I modify the list so I need to modify this part of the text okay so and it is not like very a very natural way to uh, program or to code these things with the blocks okay so this is the best Thing you can uh, do because in that case no matter if you add like 20 questions more okay so you don't need to modify your uh, procedure okay to select the questions okay so that's why we need to make it not sometimes not to be very specific just using this block okay so we have six items and if we increase this no problem okay so well that is one thing that we can do with uh, lists okay now there is another thing that I want to show you just uh, today because it's something very fast. Okay, uh, talking about a list. Uh, for example, if we want to go over the list, over the list, over the list. Okay, but what if we have another list, a list inside a list? So let's see that in this list I have one list that it's called teams. Okay, so my teams. And in this list is it's a list of teams. Okay, so in team number one I have these three guys. Team number two I have these three. Another. So I have three, four, five teams organized in one list. So now what if I want to select some of these uh, people from this uh, list? Okay, so what if I want to talk about uh, to select this item in the list? check is in the list teams in the third team what if we want to select John William okay so it is in the list one okay in the list teams in the third part so to do that check I will show you I have here a procedure so we are going to set the text and then we are going to use as usual select list item but we are not going to select from the list in here because if we do it like that check what happens so I just set this to the sec uh, this button and it's selecting all the list Thomas Edison Alexander Graham Bell and it's giving me the three elements in the first list okay and I don't want to have that okay I don't want uh, this thing to give me the complete uh, sub list so to do that we are going to insert in list you know select a list item from the list in the other list okay and then we go here we are in the teams list and now check what happens I have index 3 in this part and index 1 so 
if we select or we run this, we have Percy Lebanon Spencer. Percy Lebanon Spencer is in here. It is in the sublist number three. Sublist number three. Okay. And you have Percy is index one. Okay. So index one in the sublist three. Now, what if you, what I want to select in this, in this part, I have index number four. So the four item from the sublist number three, four, five. And that will be Sarah E. So let's see if this is true. Yes. Okay. So now think a little bit. What if I want to select Mm, James Naismith. Think a little bit. We have it that this guy is in the third. Is the third item. And it is in the first sublist. So, what do you think? Well, let's go here. So, we say that is the third item in the index in the sublist one so this is the index for the sublist one two three four five so now let's do it and we have it okay so well basically that is the idea with this thing so now what if we change this to number two tom cruise that is here, that is in the index 3, the third item from the sublist number 2, or for example number 4, that means that in the sublist 4, select the item 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, it has to be Tom Perry, and that's it. So I know sometimes it's quite confusing working with this, okay, but this is very useful because for example if we want to make a quiz okay let's suppose that you have a quiz with multiple uh, options for the answers so imagine that these are my answers by possible answers okay for question number one i have one letter a letter b and letter c question number two i have letter a letter b letter c question number three i have one two three okay and so so forth so on okay so well that is the idea with this Okay, uh, using list of list, okay, and these are very convenient, okay. So I guess uh, in some in, in other tutorials we will be making like a very simple quiz or something using this uh, sub list. But I guess for today that is enough for you, okay, just to know how to work with list of list and how to go over a list, okay, how to go over this there is another thing that just remember uh, I show you in other videos it's about how to remove okay how to remove an item from a list okay just to empty the list okay but I guess in this video there is enough with this so my name is Eduardo I hope you like this mini tutorial about using list in app inventor and list of list okay so I will see you next time Thanks for watching this.